Hello everyone, welcome back to another Friday Sews. My name is Tanya and this is the channel where we create the atmosphere for you to celebrate your grace, beauty, and style. I want to thank you all for joining me for another episode of Friday Sews. Thank you to my subscribers for coming back and pressing that play button. And thanks to all of my new subscribers in the past three weeks or so for joining me on this channel. I so appreciate everyone being here. Now, Friday Sews is where we talk a little bit about life and a little bit about sewing. It was created by Jen with Today in Jen's Sewing Room. She just wanted to bring the sewing community together so we can talk about our projects and update you week by week on what we have going on. I'm so excited to share with you this jumpsuit that I have on. We're going to talk about this and a little bit about life. So let's get started. All right, Simplicity 9480. It's a Mimi G design. I so love this jumpsuit. It is so comfortable. I did view A, the long version but I opt out to adding the ties at the legs um, because I believe the bottom portion of this is a little large for me. I'm usually larger at the top and smaller at the bottom. So I cut out a size 18, which if I would gather the bottom of this, it would look like a balloon. This is why I decided to opt out on the tie at the bottom of my pants leg. I still love the way it came out. I did make a couple of adjustments, but let's get into a little bit about this fabric that I use. It is a cotton lawn, and I'll put on the screen some of the other required fabrics for this particular pattern. Um, I'll put in here the video uh, where I talked about this fabric. I got this from Fabric World in Stone Mountain. So it was a large piece of remnant, and I would say it was a good two and a half to three yards of fabric, which was perfect for this. I did make a few adjustments to this so that it could fit comfortably for me. You'll notice here that I add this little center piece because I felt like it was a little too low. I also sewn in the cross area here. So I want to show you how I have to stitch down this area here because if I don't, this would be all open. And then as you see, I added the center piece. So it just fits a lot better when I have to, when I sew it down here. What else about this pattern we can talk about? So Simplicity 9480. And this pattern envelope goes from a size 16 to a 24. And that is a bus size of a finished bus size of a 43 and a half all the way up to a 51 and a half bus size. I selected a size 18, which was for a 45 and a half bust. I am a 44, so I felt like I would have enough room for this to cross over, but that wasn't the case. Okay. But as you see, I was able to fix that so it would fit comfortably for me. I do believe the pattern came out like the photo here, other than the um, alterations that I made. Um, of course, I don't have this at the bottom, so that looks a little bit different as well. This was a great sew. It is an easy sew. It is easy. I did have... Most of the time when I sew something, I always have to pick out something, right? Either I wasn't paying attention to the instructions or just overlooking something, right? So the back bodice, I put it on backwards and I had to pick that out and uh, sew it back together. But other than that, um, it really was an easy, easy sew, pretty quick as well. Uh, so I would definitely recommend Simplicity 9480 as a sew. What am I working on for next week? I think I'm gonna do this macaws pattern. I got this fabric from 
fabricknits.com. So I'm gonna use this beautiful fabric here. I love the green and the white together. Great summertime uh, fabric, very lightweight. It is a ITY knit, right? So I'm going to do Macaws 8142. And I'm going to do view B. And this is an average pattern. Um, I will need some elastic for this. Um, but other than that, maybe some uh, seam binding, right? I'm pretty sure for the arms, I'm going to need that um, binding. It's for two-way stretch, 50%. Uh, and I did make sure that I had that 50% stretch with my knit. And as you see, with most patterns with knits, there's a chart on the back for you to determine uh, if it's a 50% knit. So this is what I'm going to be working on for next week. I'd love for you to come back and check it out and see how it's going. Hopefully I'll be able to get this done. It just seems like a whole lot of things have been coming up. But this is something that I am going to work on for next week. I do want to show you a close-up of the fabric. And just so you can see the drape of it. It is a pretty sturdy um, knit. And you cannot see through it. So I like that. And also with this macaws pattern, there is a lining to do with this. And I believe it's probably just going to be for the bodice area. And I will just use this knit as the lining as well. I'm not going to use a different um, fabric. I'll just have this on the inside as a lining for that bodice area as well. This is a pattern that I've been wanting to make for a while. So I am so glad I am starting this project this week. And I also wanted to show you a close-up of the line drawings. All, right. All of the views are very beautiful. I love this ruching for the view A and view C off the shoulder here. I love that as well. And a little bit about life. So I had one of my veteran sisters come in last week to visit me. And we went to a women's conference. It was Change Her, uh, Change Church in Duluth, Georgia. It is new. I think they've only been here for about six months here in Georgia. They have two locations in New Jersey. And I loved all of the speakers. I have been going back and following up with some of those speakers online just to hear some of, the, of their other messages that they offer. I'm going to put their names here or in the description um, area. So maybe you might want to check out some of those speakers as well. From time to time, my job offers fun activities. So they offered us this painting class. I typically work from home, so I decided to go into the office to participate in this class. And this is what I came up with. If you have made it this far, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can see my finished project for next week. I just thank you all for joining me and have a lovely day. Thank you.